What's up guys, this is JJ Anjit from TGN Technology here to do a how to install video on the unofficial AOKP Jelly Bean 4.1.1 ROM on the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and scroll down and you can see here that there was a call audio bug, but that is now fixed and it does come with super users. So go ahead and read all of this and you can just sort of get the gist of um, what's actually happening. So go ahead and click on ROM new. This is the newest update obviously since it says new so go ahead and click on that that's going to automatically download I already have a download going right down there and yeah go ahead and click on Google Apps next and that's going to also download the Google Apps and then go ahead and scroll down and look through these threads now I did notice that if you go on the last page of the thread some people are talking about Wi-Fi going in and out so that seems like a bug but it looks like maybe um, maybe flashing a different kernel may fix that but yeah, go ahead and go back, and once those two files are done downloading, go ahead and move them to the internal SD card of your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. And I'll be back with you guys with your next step. Alright, so once your Sprint Galaxy Nexus is connected to your computer and your downloads are finished, go ahead and open up Windows Explorer. And right down here, Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and click on that, then click on Internal Storage. Then go to the download folder. So scroll down and click on download. And then you're going to see all these files here um, that you might have downloaded. I obviously downloaded a lot of files. So yeah, I'm actually going to delete all of these just so that I can sort of get an idea of um, where my files actually are. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these files. Obviously, you shouldn't delete them if you actually want them. But yeah, here we go. Go ahead and show in folder on the Google Apps. Go ahead and copy and then paste into the download folder. And then go back to the ROM show in folder and then copy right back into the download folder. And then the Google Apps and ROM is pretty much both going to copy into your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Obviously, you can see it's sort of waiting until the Google Apps finished there. Now it's the ROM. And it doesn't really take that long. It just sort of takes a couple minutes, I guess. And yeah, so once that finishes, I'll be back with you guys with our next step. Alright, so now that we have the AOKP Jelly Bean files on our Sprint Galaxy Nexus, go ahead and power off your device. And once it vibrates, you should know that it's powered off. Now that it's powered off, go ahead and hold both of the volume lockers, actually, and then power all at the same time. And then scroll up twice using the volume rocker. And then boot into recovery. Press power on re the recovery. And then that's going to boot us up into our custom recovery. Alright, so now we're in our custom recovery. Now what I recommend doing first is... Scrolling down to Backup and Restore, click on that and press Power on Backup. That's going to make a backup and it's going to back up all your files and you won't really lose any data. But of course when you do install the ROM you are going to start off from scratch. So if you ever do want to get all your files back you can always go ahead and restore with that backup. But I've already made a backup so go ahead and go to Wipe Data and Factory Reset and then wipe all of your user data. And as you can see right down here, it is wiping data, formatting cache. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, wiping data is finished. Now scroll down to wipe cache partition. Hit yes, wipe cache. Once that's finished, go ahead and scroll down to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache. Hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. Then go back. Install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, download, and install AOKP Toro Plus Jelly Bean Build 4.zip. Hit yes, install. And right down there, it's going to install AOKP Jelly Bean Honor Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Alright, so the install is complete. Now go to, again, choose zip from SD card, download, and gapps Jelly Bean. Sign.zip, that's going to install Gmail, all the Google Apps, the Play Store, pretty much everything. Alright, install from SD card is complete. Now hit go back and reboot system now. And that's going to reboot into AOKP on our Sprint Galaxy Nexus. 
Alright, so as you can see, we got the Jelly Bean AOKP boot up animation. Looks pretty similar to the Ice Cream Sandwich boot up animation. I'm really not sure if it's actually the same. It sort of does look very similar. But yeah, this is the boot up animation. I'm sure they'll change it in the future. But yeah. Now the first boot up usually does take a little bit, so be very patient. Uh, your phone shouldn't be stuck in a boot loop. If it is, then you must have performed the steps incorrectly. But yeah, once this is done, we'll go through the setup and I'll show you guys the ROM. And I'll show you guys some quick features of what the ROM actually comes with. Alright, so now we're at the welcome screen. Go ahead and click start. I'm not going to set up right now. I'm actually going to go back to CM10 because I heard this isn't very stable. Alright, setup complete. This is AOKP Jelly Bean on your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and hold down. You can actually see that you might get... You actually don't get the AOKP wallpaper, so it looks like AOKP on the Galaxy S3 sort of has more features on this. But yeah, really fast actually. Everything seems to be working properly. No really bugs at this point. Let's go ahead and test out the camera, see if the camera works. And yeah, it does pretty flawless. And let's actually go down to the notification bar. And you have ROM control, of course, to get all those nice AOKP features. And that's not today. We're going to be going over that in another video. And if you go to about phone, you can see down here, AOKP version unknown, actually. So it, since it's an unofficial version, it's not really going to have a declarative version number. And you can see Android version 4.1.1. Right there, click on that, and it enables the Jelly Bean, and you get Jelly Bean awesomeness. So hey guys, thanks for watching this how to install video. I'll have a review link in the description once I make it. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, be sure to check out my friends What Would Josh Do and DFK Android. And yeah guys, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching this video guys.